a lot of you guys right now are probably living for other people. And I know you guys don't want to admit that to yourself sometimes, but that is just a fact. A lot of people are living lives for their parents. They're living lives for people in high school just to flex and say, hey, I did it this far. Or I made it this far. That is the worst way you could possibly spend your time on Earth. Before the video starts, you guys remember that keyboard giveaway I was trying to do? Well, the video kind of peaked at 16,000 views and the goal was supposed to be 20,000 views. So I feel bad. So I'm just going to do the giveaway announcement again. So that being said, if you want that keyboard, get this video to 30,000 views and 700 likes. If we get that, I will give away the keyboard. Also, this is a great transition because um, <laughs> in today's video, I want to talk about rash decisions. Decisions we didn't really think through, but we're gonna go with it. So I got a new dog, a new pup. I don't know how old he is actually. I'm gonna ask the internet to name my dog. So alongside with that keyboard giveaway, please, while you're doing that, like the video, subscribe, and <laughs> give me name ideas for my dog. I'm gonna let the internet do it. So we'll see. <laughs> so rash decisions, right? I know right now if you're in college, it's finals time. And it's typically when people are stressing out, I remember when I was in college and honestly, I've never studied for finals. Like uh, going in, I was just like, I, I know it or I don't. And I don't know how I made it so far in life. <laughs> that mentality is not healthy, but just seeing other people go through it and like hearing about it. Um, I've stressed out for the test. Don't get me wrong. But my version of stressing out is just rereading the entire chapter until I memorized every single letter, every single comma, anything I need to do. I was just photographic and as soon as I take the test, I'm done with it. That's not a good way of studying because you're not really understanding. But yeah, a lot of people during this time might get to a point where they're just sitting there, tears on their papers and thinking, do I need this? Do I need to be here? Specifically for computer science students, I know it is not an easy thing to go into. Some of you guys might have found computer science in college, like me, and you were just like, what is this? Um, you didn't have since you were six and your dad was helping you with that. You didn't have that. Found out about it, now you're jumping into it and it's difficult at times. My whole point is stress can lead people to doing a lot of um dumb things. <laughs> But it could also lead people to doing a lot of smart things with their lives, right? See, the thing is, with computer science and how much knowledge is out there now these days, like, I know it's easy to just think, yes, drop out of school. But I know the title says, why should computer science students drop out of school? I get that. I actually don't know what the title of this video is yet, but sit. Oh, you did it! Good job! Right now, we live in a world where there's so much knowledge that anything you might need to learn, just go on Google, right? And the thing is, it might take a little bit longer, it might be a little bit harder, but it's still doable and it's still feasible. That's what doable means. Point is, it's not far-fetched anymore to be able to get a six-figure job these days without a degree. Like, software engineering and software development, I think, is one of those jobs where, yes, there is always going to be some type of office politics once you get to a certain level, but it's one of those jobs where you just do your job, show understanding, contribute, and you go up and up. Yes, in the beginning, if you went to Harvard for computer science, you might get, you know, a little bit more money. It doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna end up higher than someone who went to a normal state college, right? Thing is, when it comes to dropping out, I have so many different opinions when it comes to these things because there is an upside and a downside to dropping out. There is always going to be an upside and a downside, right? When I dropped out of school, I had to think of what's important to me. Like I said, I've never been stressed with school, so when I decided to drop out, keep in mind, I am an immigrant myself. <laughs> my mother is an immigrant. Typically immigrants really care about education. My mom came here and has her master's degree. I was supposed to just, you know, go to school. Like that was the whole goal of us coming here to have a better life. And I have the nerve to be at the finish line and be like, never mind, we're done here. And funny enough, it was my mom who told me to stop going to school. It's just, she thought it was gonna be for a semester. Never went back. But when I was in school, I was struggling with, you know, mental health and, and like, Everyone else felt very lost. I just felt like I was just doing what was expected out of me. I, I felt like, oh, it's just another thing. You go to high school, you go to college, you get that job, you buy a house, live on, right? But then I kind of started thinking like, what is the point of spending a majority of my life making money for someone else? And not even about the money. What is the point of doing something that I'm just gonna be like, oh yeah, this is okay. Originally I went to school with a business major cause I was like, oh, everyone does business. That's just the go-to, whatever. Then I was like, I'm smart enough. Let's do pre-med so I could go to medical school. Cause if I'm gonna be here, I might as well make some money at the end of it, right? Then I thought about that. I was like, that's not my passion though. And 
at this time I was I was still thinking about money, money, money. And then when I kept thinking about money, I was like, you know what? I keep seeing a lot of billionaires popping up lately. Whole lot of them. What are they doing? And then I found out about computer science and that's literally how I found out about computer science. Took a couple computer science classes, hated it, still passed. And every time I passed, I was like, how? <laughs> I was like, how? I was like, I didn't know anything I was doing, but I passed and apparently got an A on this test. So, but I, again, it was just something I was doing because of money. Then that's, that's another reason why I hated computer science at first. I was just doing it for money. And that's a horrible reason to be doing anything because eventually it will catch up to you and eventually you will hate your life. My old YouTube channel started taking off and I got to travel and I actually got to do something I wanted to do for once in my life. How much money I made in life was dictated by how much effort I put into something. It was dictated by, you know, how much care I put into whatever I was working on. It wasn't making money for someone else, it was making money for me. And for once as someone who was young, I was making more money than I ever did doing something that I loved. And what changed for me is I just stopped being so passive about my life. The more and more you think about your life, the more you think, what do I want? What makes me happy? Money will never just keep you happy. So what will make you happy? A lot of you guys right now are probably living for other people. And I know you guys don't wanna admit that to yourself sometimes, but that is just a fact. A lot of people are living lives for their parents. They're living lives for people in high school just to flex and say, hey, I did it this far, or I made it this far. You're, you're a software developer, that's so cool because society likes to look at that like, oh, if you're this, you're smart. Like They're living lives based off other people's opinions. That is the worst way you could possibly spend your time on earth. But here's a very hard fact about you know impressing these people, impressing your parents, impressing your old schoolmates, impressing your coworkers. Not everyone in your life will last forever. Your parents will eventually die. You'll stop working with those coworkers eventually. Um, those schoolmates you have, you're gonna know them on Facebook for 30 years or whatever, but how often do you talk to them? Why do you still care about their opinion? Why do you care about your, a stranger's opinion on the street about what car you drive or whatever you do? Like The only opinion that should matter about your life is yours. So if you're scared of scaring your parents if you do drop out, I understand a lot of people care about their parents' opinions and that's like their respect is very important. But at the same time, remember they dragged you into this world without your permission. I'm not a big fan of people telling me what to do with my life when I didn't ask for this. <laughs> you didn't ask to be on this earth. So why are you gonna be doing what I, it's a long rant. So at the end of the day, it just comes down to what do you value? Of course, I don't think everyone should drop out of school. You know, if you value a solid education, stay in school. If you currently have no mental health issues and you're making it through school fine and like you're just kind of like, uh, whatever, but you don't have any other plan, just stay in school. So from my own personal experience, here's what I'm gonna say about dropping out of school. This is when you should absolutely not drop out of school. You should not drop out of school when you know you have no discipline. And by discipline, I mean, how do you carry yourself throughout the day? Do you think you're gonna be able to, with all that new free time, do you think you're gonna be able to just get up in the morning, have your goals and then accomplish them? Are you gonna work on that project you say you're gonna work on or are you just gonna spend time on YouTube? I'm talking about myself. I, when I was making money off my old YouTube channel and traveling, I had a really big list of ideas I could have done. I had all the money in the world to do. All I, I had to do was plan, right? But I didn't have the discipline to make all these goals happen. And that held me back a lot. What are your long-term or short-term goals? Do you have any of those? A lot of people just want to drop out because they're stressed out. That's not a reason. It's only giving up if you don't pivot into something else. If you don't want to do, you know, normal schooling and you want to go the self-taught route because you think it'll be faster, that's another reason why I went the self-taught route when I came back to computer science because I thought it would be faster and I would have been in community college for four plus years. <laughs> Found out about computer science so late. If you do decide to drop out, all I will say the most important things to care about are discipline and time management. Also, being very self-aware of the type of person you are and where you need to make improvements, constant improvements, is the only way you're gonna succeed in life if you decide to drop out, right? This was just a mini rant, roughly outlined, but I appreciate you guys watching. Um, this is something I think about often. If you're struggling in finals right now, good luck. <laughs> um, you will make it, just study hard. And if you wanna drop out, think very hard and get other opinions. My opinion, I'm just literally a guy on the internet. Your opinion matters more than mine because it's your life. Uh, do what makes you happy. Only message I want you to take away from this. Do what you think will make you happy long-term. If you hate your life right now, see where you could change. Doesn't necessarily mean you have to drop out of school. Maybe change your major. Don't know. You listen to a guy with negative $7 in his bank account right now, so. But I'm happy. Money's gonna come and go, so I'm B.I. Anyways, with that being said, please subscribe, like, 
Don't forget to name my dog. <laughs> and that's all for me. See y'all next Tuesday when I announce the winner for this keyboard. Okay, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm not going anywhere. God, you giant baby, bro. It's amazing. You adorable, bro. Oh my God. Here's a very, very rough fact. Are you just gonna be here every time I shoot a video? I don't mind it. It's just different. I appreciate you being quiet though. Don't know your name. <laughs> don't know your name.